Okay, I'm gonna look at my lathe here. <clears throat> so everybody said I did my job wrong when I set my centers up. They say my lathe is, lathe is all twisted because it's not flat on the floor and all this other stuff. Well, maybe, maybe not. Now, if the bed was twisted, that would explain why the bar, when I cut it, it'll be cutting too much here, and um, you know, it cuts smaller on the out, the end sticking out here, because the lathe would have to go sideways. <clears throat> Usually when you're cutting out something that sticks way out on the lathe like this far out, it'll cut bigger out here because it flexes in. This one was cutting more on the outside, so it's not too much tool bit pressure. Because people are saying carbide takes more pressure than steel. That is true, but that ain't the problem. So, but I had a, I forget how much it was, but it was, a, I think it was like one and three quarter thou between here to here when I measured it. So that's my error. <clears throat> So what I did is I clean everything off, I stone the surface, I stone my two uh, blocks here, these are big tool bits. I use them for all kinds of stuff except tool bits. These are um, one and a half a thou of each other all over, total reading. And got my fancy level over here, this is a precision level. So one thou into this makes a big difference. So when you go like this, we can see if, how level my lathe is. And right off the bat, you can see, oh, it's not level. Okay. Nice. I don't care. I didn't make it level. And guess what? It ain't level this way either. So that means it's low over here. And which direction off is it this way? This way low. So this corner here is way low. Now this here lathe is not mounted on concrete sitting on top of a concrete floor with tile with rubber pads here so it's rubber mounted so it doesn't shake and then it has adjustment screws where you can level it and that here pushes up here and down there and in the middle it can kind of twist now twisting could make my lathe different be inside like this or like this or like this or like that makes no difference the twisting is what you're worried about so going by that this corner is way low so if I adjust that should make a difference. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So this one right now, it's way out this way. Now, how are we going to know how much it's out? We have to either make it level, <clears throat> like my mill is here. And the reason my late mill is level is because when I'm putting stuff up here in the stand, I'd make sure I dial them in by being level, and then I scan all this stuff in to make sure they're perfectly square to my head. I use a level a lot here. In a lathe, you don't do anything. The part turns, not the cutter. A milling machine, the part doesn't move, the cutter does. So the part has to be chucked up more accurately. All right, where is my, this one here? Okay, this is my digital level. This one's pretty accurate too, but it's, this one will actually give you a number. It goes out two digits. That's 52, 49. It likes to bounce around, so. <clears throat> kind of liking 52 more than 49 at this point. Well, it was 54 and it dropped to 49. Nice. Fifty-one. <clears throat> yeah, so that's enough to be a big problem if you don't know where it's at. Alright, Wait for it to stabilize to what it wants to be. Looks like a little 40 on that side. How about this side? 45 over here, but same deal, you gotta let it stabilize. <clears throat> 42. Alright. 
I like using my big level because it's more accurate. And you can see what it's doing better. Okay, wipe off the bed. Put our bits down here. Make sure there's nothing under them. Somewhere between 42 and 43 on the other side. I can't get to where I can see in there. 46 right now. So it appears to be about 45 over on this side. It's a little bit more on this side, which that corner would be low. I'm assuming it's the direction we're off. Yes. So this corner is low. So that could be a twist in my leg. So the way you fix the twist is you adjust it. One adjustment tool. Now if you have a twist in my leg, then your centers are going to be changing too. But when I set my centers, I set the centers right here where I work all the time. And I made sure that the center was out far enough that's where I would use it most of the time. So I'm trying to eliminate variables when I did all that. Okay, so what's this thing stabilized at? It's at 44 over there right now. Now to jack this thing up enough to get me to level the whole lathe out, and I got to jack up that back corner over there too. And this corner has to go up also to get it side to side level. So we can do all that. <clears throat> now the reason it's caulked like this is because the floor in the shop is cut at an angle for drainage. The problem is they drained it the wrong way. It drains to the inside of the shop. So this is low. That's high. <laughs> Somebody put the bubble on their machine in the wrong spot. Okay, where's my crescent wrench? I lost it right there. Okay, so I'm going to make some adjustments here. And let's see what happens here as I adjust that. See what happens here. Okay. First thing I do is get some cylinders out of the way. Uh. Alright, that was a couple turns up. Let's see what we got different here. So it's 33 now. So it's going to take a while to get that to come in, obviously. So two turns on that screw changed it by a tenth. That means that needs to go up a long ways. So that means I got to move the inner side up also. So that means I got to get in there and crank the piss out of that thing and make it work. I'm going to go ahead and try to level the whole thing. That way I get a better idea where I'm at. So this is obviously not as more as accurate as the real level. This would be the real level. It's way off. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is get the lathe kind of centered up this way also. So I need two levels for that really. Okay, so we're going to go on the floor down under here. And I'm going to start cranking on this thing. We're going to move that thing up a bunch. And probably about five turns over on the inside at least, maybe six, and then I'll do some more on this side here too. This thing's gonna be out about a half inch more than that one over there when I'm done. Get some more stuff out of the way so I can get access in here. Of course, you want to make sure you lay, uh, lay down and chip. So it's fun. Uh.
let's see what we got now. Ooh, that's a workout. Now we didn't go too much yet. Bubble's still way off. Getting closer though. Okay, we were at 33. 13. And how's this direction going? 26, we're way off this direction. We're a lot closer here. Chips off. Okay, let's check way back here. Fifteen. All right. Thirty down here. How can I be twenty three down there and thirty here? It's twenty five. All right. Either way, we've got to crank a lot more side to side in this thing. We're at 12 right now, it looks like. Okay. Turn that off. All right, let's put this sucker over here. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so we know we're going to lock right into this thing. Tension on it right now. Here, now we got tension on it. Oh, way too much. Back it up, back it up. Still high on this side. We gotta pick up that other corner down there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put this over here. We need to get this height up here more accurate. It's about 30 thou off under that level to get where it needs to be. All right, I'm gonna do a bunch of cranking. I'll come back here a little bit.